Okay, so this is Movie Buff, the world's greatest movie trivia card game ever. Ever? Ever. ever. Imagine you're hanging out with your best friends in your favorite place with your favorite drinks in hand, and you break out your favorite game. You shuffle up the cards, you deal out ten cards to everybody who's playing. Your hand will be made up of a bunch of cards. Most of them will be trivia cards, some of them will be strategy cards. Uh, and let's say in your hand you have a bunch. One of them happens to be the movie card. So you lay it down and you name a movie. Go ahead and name any movie, one of your favorite movies, a movie you know something about because it is a trivia game. Uh, all right, we'll go with Evil Dead since the posters. All right, it's right there. Camera. All right. So the then I'm next to you at the table and I happen to have an actor card. So I lay that down and I name any actor who's in Evil Dead. So obviously I'll say Bruce Campbell just because I love him and he's great. Yes. So then, uh, we're going to the next person at the table. You'll be playing this third person now. Okay. It was a female version of you with gorgeous I, long blonde just, hair. Yeah. And you happen to have a roll card in your hand. So you lay it down, and you give the name of any character from Evil Dead. Could be Bruce Campbell's character, but it doesn't need to be. Literally any character from, from Evil Dead. Ash. There this it is. is. The that's the easiest the one to know. The only other one I can think of is Linda, his girlfriend. That's just oh, it. That's, yeah, that's the whole thing. And then yeah, I, yeah. Happen, I happen to have a last card here in my hand. It's the quote card. I give any line of dialogue spoken by anybody in uh, Evil Dead. Which, uh, we, there's so many fun choices. But I'll go with, I'll swallow your soul! I'll swallow your soul! And so what we've done right here, we've just completed a take which is when you get a movie, actor, role, and quote card all connected to one film. Now we go to a new take by jumping to a new movie. Somebody who was in Evil Dead has been in another movie. So it comes back around to you, and you happen to have in your hand another movie card. So you lay that down, and you name any movie that somebody from Evil Dead has been in. So more than likely we're going to be going oh, with... man Yeah, I was going to say, more than likely we're going to use Bruce Campbell as that connector. Well, um, yeah, or... Um... Uh, his brother. Yeah, Sam Ted Ra Ra yeah, Ted Raimi. Exactly. Which is great. The names the names are uh, right in front of me. Right right, right there. You can totally use them. You yeah. can cheat. <laughs> Alright, so we're in Spider Man and then I happen to have in my hand, let's say a, a quote card. I lay that down and I give any quote from Spider Man and let's go with the iconic with great power comes great responsibility. And then you have in your hand another actor card. So you lay it down and you give the name of any actor who's in Spider Man. Uh, Toby. That's right, Toby McGuire. Yeah. And then I happen to have a roll card, and I lay that down, and I give the name of any character. So I'm like, J. Jonah Jameson. And so we keep going like that. We keep going around and around the table till somebody gets rid of all of their cards. The first person to do that wins. Now, we don't just have to go movie actor roll quote, and then we're done. Like, if we were in a movie we know a lot of information on, we could stay in it. So if, if we were in... Uh, Let's pick, pick a movie that has a lot of people, or one of your favorite movies that has a lot of people, or a lot of quotes, or something you know a lot about it. Uh, I mean, I guess ah, the, the first pretty... one uh, <laughs> uh, would be uh, Ocean's Eleven, right? Ocean's Eleven. Like Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, so let's say, let's say yeah, so there we're in Ocean's Eleven, uh, and then uh, I happen to have a roll card. I lay that down, and I name any character, so I'm like Danny Ocean. And then you happen to have an actor card, and you lay that down, and you name any actor who's in Ocean's Eleven. Uh, George Clooney. George Clooney absolutely is. And then I happen to have another actor card in my hand, so I lay that down, and I name another actor, so I'm like Brad Pitt. Uh, so right now, we have three of the four parts for the take. Now, all we're waiting for is the quote. So, but we could spend the entire game in one movie, in Ocean's Eleven, if we have the the cards and the knowledge and we only jump to a new movie when we get all four of those pieces so when uh you know someone lays down the quote card finally after we've gone through every actor who's in it uh and you know someone gives a quote of like what time is it when they're having that deal where they play a prank on each other then then it's done now we jump to another movie that somebody from Ocean's Eleven has been in, and then we keep going around the table. So it would be a movie, a movie card would have to come up next? Not necessarily. That's a great question. Now, okay. most of the time, with a general gameplay, it would be movie card, because you want to get rid of your movie card first, because, uh -huh. as we just saw, you can put multiple quotes, multiple actors, and multiple roles on top of one movie card, but you can't put multiple movies on top of one movie card. Once you name that movie, that movie's set, and you can't play another movie until that, new, that take is done. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That makes perfect sense to me.
And then we just keep going round and round like that. Uh, and not only do we have these trivia cards, but we also have strategy cards that come into play uh, that help you whenever you're stuck in a bind. Like we have a reverse angle card which lets you change the direction of the gameplay. Uh, and we have a take five card, like on the movie sets. You get to take five, you know, do whatever, take a break, refresh your drink, just walk away from the table because they're in some movie you don't know anything about. Uh, and, and we also have a cut card which lets you stop the action. Like, we've been connecting how we, you know, we went from uh, Evil Dead to Spider-Man, and then we go from Spider-Man to uh, Seabiscuit or whatever. Like, we're linking all of these movies together. When you play the cut card, it actually severs that link. And we wipe the slate clean, and we start again from scratch. So we could start with a quote there. Yeah, we can start then... with a quote. We can start, yeah, you can start with any card you want to. Like, if you were to go, you could lay down anything. And that's the fun of it. When you start with a, an actor, let's say, what's who's one of your favorite actors? Uh, I know, I just put you on the spot. I know, you always put me on the spot. Uh, Steve Buscemi. Steve Buscemi, great, I love him. So, like, if you were to put down an actor card to start off the game and said Steve Buscemi, it's literally, at this point, every single movie he's ever been in. Until we start narrowing it down by having, having a line of dialogue added or a character's name or the movie itself. You know, if we put down, you said Steve Buscemi, and then I put down a, uh, I put down a roll card, and I said Harry Stamper, now we're in a movie that has Steve Buscemi and a character named Harry Stamper, and then it's Armageddon. That's the greatest, yeah. greatest <laughs> asteroid movie ever. <laughs> it's my guilty, it's one but of somebody my guilty would have, But you would have to know that yes. if somebody plays the movie card, yeah. you'd have to know that that's... That, that's the one, and yeah. that's the, that with playing with the roles and the quotes, that's the kind of fun challenge, is partially stumping people as well uh, because that's the fun of it because then you can be like ah, 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 that's not who's in it or whatever the case may be right yeah but no, that's, that's just... the basics of the game you just play your cards you know you keep making these takes creating these takes using all of the knowledge you have in the cards in your hand until somebody gets rid of all of their cards first person to do that wins and you get rid of a card by guess guess what by giving a yeah quote yeah first. so like we were doing so, so like if you played this card and I yelled out the quote oh first. no 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 that's a great question no you actually are you're responsible for laying down your own card and giving your own information okay so like in your hand you got a bunch of cards so you make the choice so you open up and I so I let's say I open up the game I have a bunch of cards in my hand one of them is an actor card so I lay the actor card down and I say Steve Buscemi so yep. let's say that so now. You go next, and then you have a movie card in your hand. You lay down that movie card, and then you say Fargo, because he's in Fargo. Now we're in the movie Fargo with uh, Steve Buscemi. We still need a roll, and we need a quote to finish it. But then it just keeps, then the person number three has a quote card. They lay that down, uh, and they, uh, you know, they give uh, William H. Macy's line about undercoating. Clear coating. I threw the clear coat in for free. <laughs> uh, and so we just keep going and going and going around. Each person lays one card, gives one bit of information, and that's each turn. What if you backed around. up back to another actor card? You if like if we had an you mean so you like you already you already got the the quote and then the actor card and then I lay down another actor, but it still has to be within the yeah, movie. Yeah, it does still need to which be the yeah. original quote was referring to. Yeah, so if we okay. were in if we did Steve Buscemi and then we did the movie, so I played the movie card and it was Fargo, and then you have another actor card. Mm -hmm. It has to be another actor who's in Fargo, okay? Because once the movie is named, it, you kind of are you're yes, kind of, you're there. You're there. So, yeah, but if you were to do something like if you put down a movie card and you said Steve Buscemi, and then I put down, a, I'm just not a movie card, if you put down an actor card and said Steve Buscemi, and then I put down an actor card and I said Adam Sandler, so now it's a mo any movie that has both Adam Sandler and Steve Buscemi in it. And there's a few of Adam Sandler's classic comedy gems that have both of them in it. Um, but yeah, it would be like that. But once a movie is named, it stays in that movie until the take is done. Ah, okay. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, th thanks. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Justin. <laughs> thanks, Jeff. Appreciate it. No problem.